on Channel 4, the tri-state area's leading news station. This is Action News. Hello, one more time in the city of champions. The Steelers beat the L.A. Rams tonight 31-19, and another Super Bowl trophy is now headed for Three River Stadium. We have lots of highlights to show you, game highlights coming up in just a couple of minutes. But first, let's go downtown to Market Square, where the Steeler fans are already celebrating the victory. Here's Deborah Fox, live with the Channel 4 Action Cam. Debbie? Mike, it is quite a scene in Market Square tonight. About 1,500-plus screaming fans have come in walking into the city. They can't get in any other way. They can't drive in because the whole downtown area is closed to traffic. We've seen a few minor incidences, but for the most part, this crowd has been fairly orderly. We have seen some arrests for disorderly conduct and intoxication, but as I said, for the most part, this crowd has been very orderly, and the police have not moved at all to disperse them. The crowd has been here for about two hours now, and I haven't seen it thin out at all. In fact, I see a few more people than before, and why don't we listen to some of their cheers right now? Now, despite the urging of the Pittsburgh police to stay home and celebrate, these fans have not heeded those warnings at all and they came into the downtown area. I don't know how long they're gonna stay. It looks as if they're having a lot of fun. It is a very cold night in Pittsburgh, but the fans here are not cold at all. Their hearts are warm and they love their Steelers. We'll have more live reports from the Market Square area later in the broadcast. Back to you, Mike. Okay, Debbie, we'll be checking back with Debbie in just a little while in our program. Once again, the police advise you to stay out of downtown if you can. About 600 extra police officers have been assigned to the area. They're trying to control any trouble. Luckily, no reports of that. But we're going to be go going downtown a little bit later on. In the meantime, let's get to the game highlights now. Carol and Bill, let's see it. Well, listen, Mike, we did not only stay away from downtown. We stayed in the studio. Yes, we had a good time here. And I, I, I tell you what, I, I wouldn't go near town. You ready to go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you can't get in. I'll any. follow you. Okay. And listen, my prediction, 28-17, uh, I wasn't too far I'll tell you off. what, you got double figures on both sides. Most people didn't, so you were closer than most people. Thank you. Although it's really interesting. The uh, expert said 10, 11, 12, and it ended up 12, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's take a look at some of the game highlights of Super Bowl XIV as the Steelers overcome a real tough effort by Los Angeles. So Los Angeles said, hey, we're a good football team. They went out to prove it. There's the pregame ceremonies. Joe Green running onto the field. Board Chairman Arthur Rooney uh, exercised the uh, uh, coin toss at the beginning of the game. And the Steelers go right to work. Bradshaw to Franco Harris for a big game. This sets up a 41-yard field goal by rookie Matt Barr of Penn State, and that makes it 3 to nothing. The Steelers break the ice. However, the Rams, on their second possession, go right to work. Wendell Tyler, number 26, with a good run. He's got that great quickness and great cutting ability. He did suffer a couple of injuries in the game, but kept coming back, and uh, that 39-yard run sets up a touchdown by Cullen Bryant, the one-yard run despite a fine effort at the goal line by the Steeler defense. It's 7-3 Rams lead at the end of the first quarter. In that second quarter, we'll watch Franco Harris run wide and tie a Super Bowl record. Three touchdowns rushing in a Super Bowl in his career. That makes it 10-7 Pittsburgh. Now, the Rams, incomplete pass, almost a touchdown there for their tight end, but that sets up the field goal by Frank Corral. That makes it a 10-10 tie, 30-yard field goal by the Rams. Now, Terry Bradshaw intercepted by Dave Elmendorf. Bradshaw suffering three interceptions in the game, but still ended up with good passing stats, 14 of 21 for three touchdowns. Now the Rams take a halftime lead of 13 to 10. The Steelers trailed at the end of every quarter except the one that counted. Second half kickoff by Corral. Watch number 30, Larry Anderson. Had four kickoff returns over 35 yards. This 37-yarder started the Steelers in good field position, and that set up a Bradshaw to Swan touchdown pass. And what a work of art this was. Swan later knocked out of the game with a slight concussion, but then the slack was picked up by John Stallworth. That made it 17-13. Steelers ahead by four. But then, look out. Here's Vince Ferragamo to Billy Waddy. That 50-yard reception sets up a touchdown by the Rams. On the day, 16 for 26. One interception by Ferragamo in his first Super Bowl. Pretty good job. This is the halfback option pass, and it's complete in the end zone for the Los Angeles Rams. 
McCutcheon throws it. Smith catches it 24 yards. The kick fails. The Rams lead it 19 to 17. Fourth quarter. Stallworth. A miraculous reception. 73 yards. The Steelers go on top to stay, but you never know that because the Rams came right back. 24-19 Steelers ahead. This thwarts the final Rams effort. And that's an interception by Count Dracula, Jack Lambert. Lambert getting the interception to return, and of course that causes some sadness on the L.A. side of things. Bradshaw comes right back to work. Here's Stallworth again. The Steelers in trouble on the third and eight. Needed a big gainer. They got it. And this sets up the final touchdown of the game. Franco Harris breaks the record for touchdowns rushing in the Super Bowl. And the Steelers register that 31-19 victory. Congratulations to Coach Chuck Knoll, to Arthur Rooney, Definitely. and of course to the Steelers fans. The Rams had a few happy moments, but... Carol, the crowd is beginning to thin out now. Although listening to them, you probably can't. It doesn't sound that way at all. The fans have been screaming here for about two hours now, and I think some are beginning to tire out. It's back to both of us. Yes. The terrible towel was poised to strike, and strike it did. You know, that scene at Market Square looks something like Times Square. Yes. All that's missing is Dick Clark and the Royal Canadians, right. I guess, huh? And the towel is about to drop from the sky. I tell you what, it's a great day for <laughs> Pittsburgh and a great day for a fine football team. As we told you, the terrible towel was poised to strike. Wide receiver Lynn Swan, who many experts feel is the best in the game, was knocked out of Super Bowl XIV with a slight concussion. Enter the man who many others call the best receiver in the game, John Stallworth, and presto, the city of Pittsburgh celebrates another win. In the Steeler locker room, NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle got off a great line during the presentation ceremony. Well, Mr. Rooney, as the saying goes, we'll have to stop meeting like this. I think it's absolutely incredible. You were tested. Your team was tested today by an outstanding Ram club. You came back every time. And I know that for you, it had to be particularly rewarding to have your son Danny, president of the club, your son Art Jr., also play a part in this franchise, in this win for the franchise that you started 46 years ago. But I know for you, the big thrill was being able to deliver to the city of champions, your beloved Pittsburgh, this trophy. This is probably the best one we've ever had. And I accept this trophy on behalf of the best football team uh, in the nation and the best coaching staff and the best organization. Thank you. Bradshaw three interceptions but he was 14 for 21 in passing and he did throw for 309 yards he passed for two touchdowns and he was named as the MVP for Super Bowl 14 CBS sportscaster Brent Musburger talked with Terry about the tough tough title game it was uh, one of the toughest Super Bowls I've ever played in first half uh, we didn't really take him take control of him had excellent field, field position just could not cash it in I had an interception in the second half two more interceptions and once but we started hitting some big plays and I found out something in our coverage I wanted and then I hit it for two big bombs I hit it early and I I came back and I told John I'm gonna try this play again I don't think they'll be in the same cover they were in the same dead blame cover I couldn't believe it and we hit another rim down everyone they really showed off the traps I tried to go outside with some other some influence plays I tried to do some straight blocking they did an excellent job the second half, they were really fired up because they smelled victory. I'm not sure it's real yet. I, I feel beautiful. I feel, I feel wonderful. Pittsburgh Steelers have, have so many ball players, so many outstanding football players. Today, a lot of the guys didn't come, you know, didn't play as well as we would have liked to, but we got a lot of good football right. players. Joe, save a sip for me, would you please? Final score, Pittsburgh 31, the very tough Rams 19. And so Pittsburgh is once again Titletown, USA, the city of champions. 
thanks to the terrible towel and a gutty effort by perhaps the best team ever to step onto the gridiron. From everyone at Channel 4, congratulations to the players, the coaches, to Mr. Rooney, and last but not least... Arlen Singleton. Sports with John Sanders. And Ron Clayton with the...